using feedback for your children is very, very important. But also the language we use within that feedback is crucial. Keeping it simple and by using words that children understand is a key component. Here in this slide you can actually see four distinct areas. One is positive feedback, the other one is very positive feedback, encouraging feedback, and the last one is a scaling system that we can use to help our children. Praise your child's effort and not their intelligence or for them being smart. Praising their effort is very, very important. If we don't give feedback, children can become disengaged. It also has to be child-centric, as I mentioned, so they can understand the words and the dialogue we're trying to gain. Keeping it simple and effective will give your children motivation then to continue trying new skills that they may find initially difficult. So using words that are positive, well done, I love it, very good. And sometimes using very positive feedback like awesome, outstanding, those are very, very important. Another method we can use, which is our scaling question system, whereby we actually work with our child on a new skill and then we ask them a question of how well do you think you're doing? From experience we tend to find that the younger the child they then use either the very high number or the very low number and that is to be uh, commended in one way but also it's a sign of maturation so therefore this is a process and it's not going to work straight away at whatever age you use. So therefore giving children time to develop this. So if you're consistent in asking questions like this, they will learn to get better and better and better at answering through a scaling question. So when we start with very young children, we look at asking them, say for example, how much do they like chips? or how much do they like chocolate and we find that when they're very young they'll use the number 10 or they'll use the number 1 but as they maturate into this using this system you'll find that the numbers start getting further away from 1 and further away from 10 in respect to certain aspects of their skill development so therefore what we find out is then that the numbers relate to something more realistic but what we've got to be able to do is not when we're actually giving feedback is not to judge them we asked the child a question to evaluate if they say nine and you think it's two you don't judge them on that what you think it's their evaluation it's the next question we ask then is the important one is to help them become better at evaluating themselves so therefore, using this scaling system gives an idea of how well they're getting on or how well they perceive that they're getting on. If you notice from the scaling system also, we don't have the number seven. Because if somebody asks me today, how well do I feel today? And I say seven, you don't know if I'm feeling very well or I'm not so well. Seven seems to be a nothing number in regards to a scaling system. So we've developed the system of taking the number seven out and therefore it prejudges a little bit better for us what our expectations are and how we can answer certain questions. So therefore, if you ask me how I'm feeling today and I say six, well, I'm okay, but I'm not great. So then there could be a leading question from there saying, well, why aren't you an eight today? That's why we use it. Try some of this feedback and be very careful and be very positive with the language you use. If you have any queries, please get in touch with us. Thanks very much.